6th of June 2005, when we learned we were going to host the Olympic Games, it was a really red-letter day for us. I'm sorry about Madrid Marisol, but anyway. Uh, and here we are, six years later, and uh, really, really excited to be able to play a very small role in this. And it's come about very much because of a series of unique partnerships on very many levels. First of all, with ITU, who created this wonderful World Championship Series with um, our other partners, Absolute, uh, as well. Uh, UK Sport, who've helped to fund this event. It wouldn't have happened without them. Tata Steel are incredibly imaginative and creative uh, partners, presenting sponsors in this case. And this year, of course, LOCOG are really a key player in organising the race, as well as London and partners through Ian Edmondson, who are our hosts in this wonderful city, um, which is the host of the Games, and Royal Parks as well, I must mention. So from the British Triathlon perspective, of course, this is a really, really important race for us. It's one of our selection races, and any athlete who gets onto the podium will have an opportunity to, be, to book their place in the team for next year. And we always aspire to try and be the best, and we want lots of medals and especially gold. This is wearing my British Triathlon hat, of course. And uh, as well as that, we want to be able to be part of the most memorable Olympic event of them all, with British winners as well. Sorry about that. Um, and, uh, and uh, of course, it's free to, free to air, free to view, so that's a huge advantage given the fact that everything else is sold out, and we were sold out almost first of all. I think we've actually got everything in this event. We had our course trial by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, no less, in their wedding. And when they went round the roundabout in front of Buckingham Palace, they were just preparing for the crowd control that we're going to be expecting next year. So I think that's great. We have a wait list that is a mile long for the elite athletes who wanted to get into this race. We have 50 para triathletes who aspire to be Paralympians in Rio in 2016, competing on Sunday. And we have 4,500 age groupers. The race was sold out after 72 hours. I've always said this is going to be the hottest ticket in town this summer, and certainly this weekend. And I'm not just talking about the VIP area as well, which is uh, quite difficult to get into these days, I have to say. So, going on to 2013, we didn't just want to let it all stop after this event and after the Olympic Games, but we're looking for some legacy. We've applied to host the World Championship Series Grand Final in September in 2013, ITU will make that decision this summer, I hope. And again, we must emphasise the really important partnerships with London, with uh, UK Sport, with Absolute, who are uh, our dear friends who put it all together and underwrite the risk, and without them we wouldn't be anywhere. Of course, the Royal Park. So, a very aspirational national governing body of sport. We hope we can put on a great race in all aspects on Saturday and Sunday, and that we're really very happy that London and Great Britain will be the focus of the triathlon world uh, this weekend. We hope it won't just be in sport, but also a little bit beyond sport as well. Thank you very much.